This is David with Organic Themes, and I'm going to show you how to use the Posts block that is available within the Organic Blocks Bundle plugin. So to get started, first you have to make sure the plugin is installed and activated within your WordPress admin. Then we're going to go into our page editor here, and we're going to add the block. So I'm just going to create a new line and add the block by clicking this button. I'm going to search for the Posts block and then select it from the options here. Now when the post block is initially loaded we will be presented with some setup options here. So to start let's choose the post type and I'm going to choose the category as the taxonomy and then I'm going to choose the blog category. Now you can see by default it displays our posts here within three columns. And I'm just going to change some options over here on the right so you can see what this block is capable of. So let's start by changing the number of columns. Instead of three columns, I'm going to display one column of posts. So we're going to go down here on our options, and I'm going to choose one column instead of three. Now you can see one column that's being displayed. But I don't really like this, how the image is stacked on top of the text here. So let's say I want to change the orientation. I'm going to change it from vertical to horizontal. Now that puts the image to the left and the text to the right. The text doesn't quite look right here with it centered, so I'm going to change the text alignment up here in my block options. Let's also make this a wide width block. Now we have our post meta information up here. We have the post date and the post categories, but I don't really want to display this information, so I'm going to hide it down here within the display options. Now that that's hidden, let's change some of the colors here. I'm going to change the post background. I'm going to do a custom color of a, let's do a dark brown. can't quite see our text on top now, so let's change the colors of that as well. Now our text is visible on top of the dark background. I'm going to change my button color as well. You can see that we have several posts displayed, but maybe you don't want to display this many posts. Maybe you only want to display three. So we can go up here to our maximum number of posts and change the value to 3. Now only 3 posts are displayed and pagination is displayed with it. But if you don't want to display pagination, you can hide that as well. Now this looks pretty cool, but we could change the style of it as well. We can, we can do this by going to our style presets here and let's choose the angular option. That adds this cool kind of diagonal cutting to the, uh, the images here. This masonry layout is really only needed for multiple column layouts. So since we're using a single column layout here, let's just turn this option off. Now we have the space here in between our posts, but say we want to decrease this space, we can change this gutter width value here. I'm just going to change it to two pixels so we have a slight space between each one. Now I'm going to update the post. Okay, let's test the front end of our website. So I'm going to go to the front end, refresh the page, and let's scroll down. And now you can see the post block is displayed. And if you were to click any of these posts, it will take you directly to that post. There are other options you can change within the post block as well. If you wanted to go back and change the post type, you can go to your settings here, and we could choose products, for instance. I'm going to choose the apparel category. Now you can see that our WooCommerce products are displayed in the post block as well. I'm going to adjust some more options here so you can see this block in action. So instead of a heading 4, I'm going to display a heading 6. 
This will decrease the size of our post title. Now I'm going to change the columns to two columns. Uh, that doesn't look good. Let's hide the excerpt. That's a little better, but we have an odd number of posts here. So maybe I'll display two posts. I'm going to change the width to a full width. Let's update this again, and let's check the front end of our site. It's a little big when viewed at full width, so let's go back in here, and let's change the maximum number of posts to three, and the columns back to three. Let's update that instead. Refresh the page. Now that looks a little better. So as you can see, you can use the post block to display featured posts or products or testimonials throughout your website. It's a great way of showing related posts or promoting featured posts or products on, on any page. This is particularly useful when building home pages of your website. Hope you enjoyed the block and hope you got to see how easy it was to use.